I was good. Fresh off of RBE's Lift His Soul 3 event. Um, battles just concluded not too long ago back at the crib. Um, shout out to ARP, Lauren, shout out to all those dudes. RBE's definitely been putting in work. My first battle event going to for, for their league since I stepped away for a minute. And when I walked in the venue, I was highly impressed because that spot was way more packed than it had ever been at any other event that I've been to for them. Um, early on so salute to them the fans are watching <clears throat> and they're starting to actually come out and show more support so that's what's up but um long story short that battle event was straight fire start to finish um i missed heavy half versus floss the boss first battle um but i caught big cannon versus craig lamar uh, uh show off hoffa qb arsenal and uh aver versus jims all four battles, straight fire, straight fire, straight fire. Uh, so, Big Cannon, Craig Lamar. Dope battle. Ill. Uh, Craig Lamar came out swinging, nonstop punches, first round, back to back to back to back to back. He was hitting, 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 just straight, just bang, 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 just combos. He was, he was rocking out um, real solid first. Big Cannon's first was a much different approach. He was very uh, confident in his material, and he definitely thought that he was going to, you know, as he should be, but he thought he was going to get the win without a doubt. But his first, he didn't have nearly as many consistent punches. Um, it was more so he spaced out his haymakers with a lot of setups and stuff like that. More of a preference type of round. I wrote, I pretty, pretty much had that round being debatable, but you could, if you give that round to Cannon, Clear 3-0. Clear 3-0. If you get around the can, if not, 2-1. But it was one of those 2-1s that you could still call it a body. Like, Craig, uh, Craig Lamar's second round, he kind of, he, he was still solid or whatever, but it wasn't hitting the way his first was, and it kind of fell off. He had uh, some dry moments. Um, he did stumble in the second round at some point, and he kind of, like, choked at the end. Not, like, a bad choke, but he just kind of, like, up jersey. But not, he didn't say jersey, but he just abruptly stopped rapping. Big Cannon um, was wigging out in the second, wigging out in the second round. It was mad funny. He was spitting jokes. He was just all types of his setups. is crazy, man. His setups crazy. He had some, I think it was the second round. He had an ill rebuttal. Um, but Big Cannon, man, he's solid. Third round, Craig Lamar just wasn't really hitting. And uh, Cannon, man, was just wigging. Like the third round, Cannon. It was, it was, he's just sealed the deal. It was body bag city. Like, people, people was just, you know, screaming 3-0 throughout that, that whole thing. Um, Big Cannon, you got to salute that, man. He's definitely always been, maybe it's his image. No disrespect. Maybe his image is the, the size thing. I don't know what the case is. Just his image, to, or the way he talks so eloquent and, and, and articulate. Uh, as people will be commenting, like, oh, Mike, is he's a square because he talks proper or whatever. Say what you want to say, it's all good. But I don't know, his image, something about it that fans never really want to put him at that top spot or, or amongst the top, you know, when they talk, have that discussion. His battles don't get the most views and stuff like that because people, for some reason, just tune him out. They kind of shun him. But you got a sloop in Cannon, man. He's a true vet, straight up. And he's honestly, like, if you talk about active vets, who still put in work consistently, Big Cannon is easily top five of the active vets who put in work. He puts his all into every single battle he does. He can freestyle his ass off. His penmanship is on freaking like point to the max. And he can, he can, his performance, he's hilarious when he wants to be. He, he's a big dude. He can bust a move and dance. Like Big Cannon is ill. Salute to that man. Uh, 2 1. Still possible body if if you give Cannon the, the, the first round and 3-0 hands down and a body, in my personal opinion. Um I, I don't really want to say body like that because I'm not I'm not one of those people that just gives out that term body easily, but Big Cannon put in that work OD. Uh 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 Jim's versus Verb next. That battle was was dope. Uh live bet. Uh they had a brick of Brick of Cash looking like P. Diddy with the 10 bands for T-Rex versus Verb at uh, uh, SM2. Uh, Jim's was super, 
super comfortable on that stage. Uh, Verb, like, James' first was solid. It was solid. Um, he had some stuff that, that hit pretty well. Um, it wasn't, like, one of those, like, spectacular rounds where you're like, damn, son, like, that's how, there's no way Verb's going to win. He left a lot of room for Verb to take over. Um, Verb jumped right into the showtime. And the crowd was going crazy. Verb first was solid. Uh, he did the showtime and everything. Might have done it like two times for all I remember. Both were solid, but it wasn't like, I can't say either was like such a standout. So you could argue one to Jim's or Verb, either one. Um, second round, Jim's picked up the heat. You could tell that the young cat was hungry. I know a lot of you youths, the fans who would be leaving YouTube comments be flaming Jim's life. He could say the hottest bar in the world. He could say the same bar that Lux will say. And because it's gyms, people will be like, that shit was ass. And then Lux will say the same bar. And people will be like, oh my God, I've never heard such a godly written you know, bar before in my life. Stop hating on gyms. The boy's hungry. He's gotten better. If you say that he still needs improvement in certain areas, cool. Everybody does to a certain degree. But he's gotten better. And he was hungry in his battle. Second round, that hunger showed. He started to turn up the heat. He started clicking with the crowd real well, getting a whole bunch of reaction, hitting with some hard bars. Verb kind of like fell off. It was like, he was trying, like salute the Verb. He wasn't doing anything wrong, um, but he just, it, it, the energy wasn't there and the material wasn't connecting. So Jim's clearly second round. Third round, Jim's started wigging out, going off. He he was he was basically he was screaming like give me my fucking money like he he wanted that bread he was not playing and the hunger and the younger opponent and not just the younger but like the newer uh, less seasoned opponent showed and Verb like he looked like he was like like Jim's like give me my money it's over and some of the cr people in the crowd was chanting three up but if you give Verb the first then it's a two one um, but after Jim's was like you know people's like three oh he, he thought he won. Verb was like, I still got mine, you know what I'm saying? And I, like, Verb's third, it was cool, but, like, I'm not going to get too much into this. I'm going to do a separate uh, blog about this, but he was relying too much on that real talk, that veteran talk. I'm going to do a whole separate thing on that. But basically, long story short, unanimous decision. It was a live judge battle. You had Chris unbiased. I actually got asked to be a judge. Um... Jim's and ARP were, I don't know, Jim's and Shada, I think, were walking past me um, going to the stage and shit. And Jim's like, you want to be a judge? I could have done it, but I was just like, you know, it's my first battle event coming back over here. I kind of want to just chill and just absorb the, the content, you know what I'm saying, in the crowd. So, but it was Chris Unbias, the two PT blogger homies, salute. Um, Swave Seva, and who was the last one? Shit, I don't even remember. Somebody else. It was one other person. Who the fuck was it? I don't remember. Five judges, though. And, uh... Oh, Unk. Salute. 15 Minutes of Fame. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, all five. Unanimous decision. 2-1 gyms. And you could tell Verb, like, his reaction when, when he heard the 2-1. And that gyms won. Like, that bag was fat. Gyms pulled out the bread. It was in a Gucci bag, too. That was mad fun. He pulled out the bread. It was a brick. I don't... A lot of money. But, um... You could tell Verb was just like, you know, he knew, like, yo, young boy, you got that. He clapped it up, and he gave Jim, you know, a pound of respect. Salute to Verb's sportsmanship. Like I said, Verb ain't come incorrect. He came with an angle. It's just like I said, I'm going to address that in a separate thing. Uh, so who we had? We had Big Cannon, Lamar, Verb, Jim's. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hoffa was, like, nowhere to be found for the longest. ARP started flipping out. I was even telling him, I went to the stage, I'm like, yo, bro, that I, nobody know where Hoffa at. Some people telling me they seen him. I haven't seen him. No, a lot of people in my section said they ain't seen him. I ain't seen him. You ain't seen him. You calling for him. He's not here. I don't know where Hoffa at. Some people swear they saw him outside. One dude was like, yo, he rolled, he pulled up. He hopped in the store. Then he hopped back out. But he didn't go inside. I'm like, all right, fam. Well, that doesn't help the situation. But thanks for the, the update. It was funny. Um, So because Hoffa uh, couldn't be found, uh, Arsenal and QB went. Fire battle. Fire battle. Arsenal didn't come in correct either. He came as standard Arsenal does. But for some people, it's just standard Arsenal isn't enough. Arsenal's not one, never been one of those guys that spit complex bars like that. He's more straight. Straight to the point, in your face, disrespectful, direct. But 
a lot of the stuff that he says in terms of being disrespectful, it's so basic that you're like, you could have definitely put a little bit more effort into crafting something a little bit more like, like a more of a clever setup or something. Like Steams was standing right in front of me, him and Fettuccine 20. And uh, Steams was standing in front of me talking about, yo, like, like Arsenal said a couple bars and he just turned, like Steams, rea yo, Steams reactions in battles. I wanted to film it while, while I was watching the battles. He's mad funny. He dead be doing the... And he does a little shaking. Ah, it's mad funny. <laughs> Steam's hilarious. Salute to Steam's. But he was he was turned a couple times. He was getting tight. He's like, yo, man, like this shit just getting me heated right now. Like he could have said that so like so much better, but he just is just too basic. Like that could that bar could have been hit so much harder if he just put a little bit more effort into crafting the setup. So you know, Arsenal, he put his effort in. He ain't coming correct. It's just a lot of the stuff didn't hit. And at the end of the day. He was going up against something different with QB. QB, salute to you, homie. I rocked with you and worked with you a lot back in my Vlad TV days. You was there at the Vlad uh, battle. I remember when you and Misfit got the shaking and all that. Like, I, you, you've been around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, QB was always on point. She was always super aggressive, super disrespectful. But since she took time off and you could, you could, people be joking like, yo, she different since she gained weight. But, like, she is, though. Like, I don't know what it is. She just took time to like reconstruct her setups her written work is like way sharper and her performance and like her crowd control and her delivery all around is just she's elevated levels for real like i would love to see qb battle jazz now i would love to see qb battle uh well she you know official at rb like qb on rbe is like she's a different breed like she's a rare breed on rbe um salute to her but i would love to see qb get some her and Bonnie, I would love to see her get some uh, some dope matchups in the future because she's she's nasty right now. That girl's she's she's elevated her game for real, for real. And in all honesty, no disrespect to Arsenal, salute to him. Like I say, he didn't come in correct. He didn't come to lose, but I had QB cooking him three zero, washing him. No disrespect, tell it like it is. If y'all know old school Aaron Neville, tell it like it is. Dope track, tell it like it is, man. I had QB washing him 3-0, oh, man. Arsenal's first was, he, he had some good shit. Like, in each round, he had some good shit, but it's just, she was a different level, man. Her energy was, it was just, it was too captivating. Her disrespect, her disrespect is a different level of disrespect. She be saying some grimy, grimy, grimy shit, like, like, where is your mentality when you write this stuff? Like, she be saying some foul shit, but salute to her. And I don't know, time off. Y'all fans be bugging me out. I'm standing, like, right next to the cameraman, like, right basically dead center in the front. And there was these homies. They was mad cool. All y'all that I was around, salute to y'all. But I don't know what some of y'all be listening to, man. And what y'all be watching, like, it blows my mind. It's For anyone who didn't watch my blog about battle rappers be like, go check that out. It's, I'm not trying to plug my own stuff to get views, but real talk, what I was trolling battle rappers for being like is in that video, and it was in that venue. Like, certain battlers will watch battles, and, like, their favorite battler, they just won't accept the fact that they lost. Or if they lose, like, they get fucking bodied. They just won't accept the fact that they just got destroyed, murked, all that. Just their wig got pushed back all stupid. They won't accept it, and they'll have it like, oh, it was a close fight. Like, fuck are you watching? That was a no disrespect. I don't see how it could even be. And maybe it's different on camera. It's in the building. I'm going to say it again. It's in the building. Maybe the footage would be different. But in the building, that shit was a clear 30. Easy money. No debating. And how people was actually around me trying to be like, nah, I had a, a close fight. 2-1, close fight for QB. Some dudes was dead trying to tell me 2-1 for Arsenal. Like, like I, that, that shit had me speechless. I literally was looking at dudes. I'm like, yo, don't even talk to me no more, son. Like, I don't know what the fuck you watching, but you, you shouldn't watch battles no more. Like, if you really telling me that 2-1, he won, you're fucking crazy. And 2-1 for QB. Like, what? how could... In the building... I don't see how you can give him a round. Sorry. Sorry. Again, no disrespect to Arsenal, but I don't I don't see how you can give the man a round in the building. Maybe on camera you can. Totally possible. But in the building, I don't I don't see it. Crazy. Anyways. Uh after that, show off Hoffa. Alright.
this battle, I might have to do a separate a separate blog about as well. I don't want to do it because over my years doing this, when I was more so behind the camera and Vlad, even though I was in front of the camera too, but and independently, um, definitely in front of the camera. I rock with both dudes. Like Hoffa, you know, when I first got to Vlad, Vlad TV, Hoffa was one of my very first interviews. Um, DNA was the first. Salute to DNA. DNA is a grinder, but Hoffa too. You know, I met Hoffa for the very first time at a music video release party for Cortez. At like a bar, I think in like the LES, he invited me, smack, everybody came through. I met mad people as the first time I'm on the scene, meeting all these people, exchange numbers. Hoffa, cool ass dude. Real, if you cool with him, like he's mad, mad cool behind the scenes. Like he's hilarious actually in real life. People be angry on stage a lot, or at least that's the way he be acting recently. But he's mad cool in person. But, um, and sh show off is mad cool too, like off camera. Show off is a dumb cool dude, you feel me? And, both dudes back especially at Vlad TV, I tried to push, you know, to help their careers. Like Hoffa, he was the dose thing had been occurred and you know, people like he hadn't really been like on the scene like that, like that. He was starting to come back a little bit, but it was still, you know, that dose shit was just like, you know, hovering over his head. Um so I really tried to paint a good picture of Math Hoffa when I was at Vlad TV. You know, I did a lot to kind of reverse his profile in the eyes of the fans. And he was grinding back then to the point where he actually started to earn respect from the fans for his bars, not for hitting somebody. The Sirius Jones thing happened at SM3. That shit got fucked up. Then after that, of course, disaster. The shit got fucked up. Well, show off, I pushed to boost his profile, you know, because he was a new upcoming artist and I thought he had talent and he can go far. Um... This is a battle of the Brooklyn, the, the King of Brooklyn, whatever, uh, the Brooklyn bully, whatever you want to call it, or the battle of the bullies. But at the end of the day, man, it was a very hard battle to watch. It was a very, very hard battle to watch. There was so much tension on the stage. They almost fought like a thousand times. And it wasn't a joke. Like you, you was like, you was dead nervous, like not really nervous, but like you was just on edge. Like you had that adrenaline rush yourself and watching this shit. Like you felt like you were about to jump into a fight. Maybe not jump in, but you're jumping to break it up. Like it dead, you dead felt like you didn't have to rush the stage to try to, you know, get shit calm again. Cause it was crazy, B. Like they was wilding. Both of them was wilding. Hoffa was wilding, <laughs> you know, a little bit more, but Show Off was wilding too. The thing was, Hoffa, when he was on stage before the battle even started, Show off was like up there and he like turned his back to Hoffa or some shit. I don't really, I didn't see him do nothing to Math or like touch him, but Math kind of like was like, and he like, like elbowed him in his back and Show off kind of turned around like, yo, what's up with you? And they started popping off before the battle even started. And I was just watching this shit like, come on, man. But you could kind of like, no, again, like, yeah, no shots to Math. I was kind of joking with the dudes. I was like, we got hungry Hoffa in the building. Like, he didn't eat before the battle. Like, he looked, you look, you look angry on stage. I don't know if he was outside saw some of his people, if he got, you know, he was smoked and he got he got high and he got angry. I can't really see him get angry off being high. Maybe he had a couple of drinks. I don't really know. But um he looked angry before the battle. You know, they probably had their own personal shit going on outside. Who knows? But it was uh it was tough to watch, man. It was basically a battle of who could who could show that they're more gangster on stage, who can show that they're more street, who can show that they're tougher, they're harder, whatever the case is, um, who's not pussy, you know. But for me, and for a lot of people there, like the people's minds and like people weren't even reacting, honestly, a lot by the second round. Definitely the third round, no one was really reacting and shit. People were talking in the back too much because they were just in their own world. But cause people always fucking talk and fuck up battles. But People weren't really reacting like that because we were just so taken out of it being a battle and just like watching like, yo, when's the world star? When is that going to break out? You feel me? Like, And Math, no shots, man, but he hasn't been, I mean, after disaster, he hasn't really been the same. You know, Math is, uh, Math clearly shows that he's angry on stage and he clearly shows that, you know, fans not reacting to his bars or other battlers saying hot shit or other battlers, I don't know, reacting, like, you know, mouthing some shit while he's rapping. It show he shows that it gets him upset. You know, he he cannot keep his con composure for the life of him. 
these days for some odd reason. I don't know why. Um, but it was it was it was very awkward, man. And show off was being angry because you know math is popping shit. So then show off show off need to stop this shit too. Like in some real shit, he does his other battles where like people will be rapping. I personally hate it when dudes is rapping the other person's like don't make faces. Don't like show off will do this. He'll make face. He won't say shit loud, but he'll 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 do that type of an animated thing. Like to, it's like he's like talking through it. It's just like yo, bro, just arsenal, <laughs> just. Let him rap. Let him rap. Because Show Off was doing that shit too. And it was egging on Mav. And then Show Off, I, I was predicting. I said, yo, I feel like this shit going to turn into a potential fight, if not a full fight type situation. Because Show Off is one of those dudes that gets in your face. It's that new school. New school rappers, like, back from when Hafu was coming out, you know, early, early rap stages, dudes gave each other a little bit of space. <laughs> I understand that. But new school rap dudes be wanting to, you know, bump and touch and poke and... And it's like, yeah, I don't got to do all that. I know it's in the contract. You can hit somebody. It's in the contract that you can talk as so much shit as you want without, you know, a physical thing popping off. But you don't got to be touching people. Ah, ah. Now, Hafu was in his face, too. But I felt those show off was a little bit more with it. But at the end of the day, they were both at fault for doing extra shit. But math was od Like, show... One thing I don't understand, why are you going to sign a contract to basically give a person the green light to talk as much disrespectful shit as they want about you? And then when the person's in your face talking that shit and they like, ah, cause you pussy, you won't be like, the fuck you said? Yo, what's up? Like, that's, that's corny. That is mad corny. Show, show off says some bar like, oh, da da, -da I bet you, well, what you going to do if I hit you? I bet you won't do shit. And then Matt turns and Yo, what you said? Yo, so what's up though? So do it then. What's up? Like, and I was just like, he didn't, he didn't like, he wasn't. Nah, he was. He fuck. He was like, what's up? Like, and I was just like watching this shit. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all sign contracts to get paid hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to rap, to rap, not fight, to rap. And you know that this person's being paid, and you're allowing him to be paid to talk shit to you. And when he's in your face talking shit, you want to be mad and. Like, what you said, so what's up, man? Like, that's, to me, and I'm pretty sure to a lot of people who are going to watch it on camera, and people in the building, and even if their own entourages was like, yo, y'all wildin'. Like, that's fucking corny. Hands. Big-ass hands. What's up, homie? He was, you know, to both sides. He was trying to check both sides to show off, yo, yo, chill with that extra shit. Don't be talking. Don't, don't be talking, but no, yeah, don't be talking through his raps, and don't be touching and bumping people. Just rap. That's it. Just rap. And the Hoffa, Hoffa's his mans, but Hands was even like, yo, Hoffa, like, I, at the end of the battle, I saw, like, they stopped rapping. The Hands, I, he, I, I saw it right his lips. He was like, yo, why are you being an asshole? Just rap. Just rap. Like, he could tell, like, you could tell even his boy was getting tight with him, because it's just like, bro, you're doing mad extra shit. Mad extra shit. Like I said, I'm cool. I like, you know, cool with dudes. I ain't got no problems with them or anything like that. But at the end of the day, like, I'm going to talk for real as a fan. That shit doesn't look good. This shit was, it was cringeworthy to watch. There's going to be watched because, you know, it's the tension was real. Like, if you want to watch that tension, but bars wise and just like as a smooth battle wasn't smooth at all, You, it was about to be a fight. You know, it was, that was a hard one to watch. And math, man. I don't know what's up with him, but he just hasn't been polished in a long time. Like his old, the old era of math, he never really used to, he never really used to, uh, used to be fucking up like that in his battles. Like he used to spit his verse without stumbling, without fumbling through his words, you know, <laughs> without stuttering and shit like that. But, uh, <clears throat> in recent years and, even so so far back as like four or five years ago, I don't know what's up, like the 2012-13, Hoffa's been, you know, stuttering with his rhymes and stumbling and fumbling, like, he's just not polished, not polished at all, I just, he was, he was stumbling crazy, he was just, man, it was, it was unclean, and at the end of the day, it, it was a 3-0 for show off, off of performance, just being polished and bars and everything, like, it was 3-0, Hoffa had some good stuff, like, getting at him for, you know, gay rumors and shit like that. He did it a little bit much, but at the end of the day, hey, you could do it effectively, but it's, like, just, just off of being polished alone, Hoffa, like, bodied himself in the battle, you know, unfortunately, but he just, 
you can't you can't even give him rounds because he's stumbling and fumbling in his words and stuttering and oh hold on, let me get some water real quick and get that back you, know? you can't give him a round you know it was definitely a 30 for show off but it's it's one of those 30s where it's like Hoffa just what didn't come correct and he came too angry and I just is he had you have to know that's not gonna help your image Disaster shit happen. Everybody's been gets punched. I've been jumped like five times in my life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets swung on. Everyone fights a one on one. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. Um, but shit happens. You feel me? Like I've been jumped in times when I never seen dudes again. Never got to get back. I've been jumped at times when okay, I see you again. Okay, let's see you not you not with your peoples now. We can shoot the one on and let's see how you get down. You feel me? Just move on from it. You ain't get disaster, move on from it. You don't have to continue to be angry and try to like re-solidify yourself as that tough guy in battle rap because you feel like people don't respect you now because you got jumped. You got jumped, bro. We know that. You got jumped. Diz can try to... I remember I interviewed Diz about that shit and the whole... Uh, what's it? Uh, uh, fuck is that thing? Oh, Crack City, uh, Crack City Squad, like, at Vlad. I remember it was, like, 2 in the morning. I'm dumb tired on a Tuesday night, and I'm interviewing them over the phone. They in Cali, and he was talking about, we already shot the fair one. We shot the one-on-one. -on -one. And I was on my phone, like, nigga, what? You ain't fight nobody, 1D. You jumped, homie. That's a clear jump. Ain't no debating. You got jumped. Shit happens. You don't have to hold it over your head and let that affect your performance. Fuck what a fan want to say. If a fan want to talk shit, oh, you pussy, you got jumped, blah, blah, or you pussy, you got washed by Diz and his crew, and that fan, low-key, you look at their life's resume, they never been in a fight before in their life, never been jumped once before in their life. Fuck what they got to say, dog. Just focus on yourself and being better for the future. Like, It just aggravates me to see that type of shit, man, because it's just like, we talk, yo, T-Rex just retired. T-Rex just retired, right? And I did a blog asking people about T-Rex's legacy and stuff like that. And T-Rex and Hoffa, in some regards, are in the same type of boat where did they stay in battle rap too long and tarnish their legacy? You know, some people said yes about Rex. Other people said fuck what he did in recent years. He's a legend regardless. Salute for that. Did Hoffa stay in battle rap too long and tarnish his legacy? I think that's an undeniable yes you know um shit happens but we're in control of our own actions at the end of the day we all adults you know you can't if you're going to continue to conduct yourself in that way why even accept battles just worry about coming correct don't worry about you know, the bullshit. Don't worry about, you know, trying to be hard on stage and be a tough. Nah, dog. Just, it's just, no, you you paid a contract to rap and get paid. You're getting paid. That's the key word, paid. Paid, my brother. Paid. There's no need to try to act like a thug or to act like a gangster or to act just like a non-pussy. Like, cool, bro. I've talked to you. I know a lot of your stories. A show off did say a couple things about like half a scar and shit that was anti-factual. No shots, not trying to diss show off for that. But I've talked to Hoffa about certain things that he didn't do as Bennett. Like Hoffa gets it in. We know that. But you don't have to show that on camera for the rap. Like, just rap, bro. Just rap. Street shit to the streets. Just rap. Um Long story short, show off 3-0. And at the end of the day, the entire event was fire. That last battle was hard to watch just because it was so much tension. Thought Ninja was going to fight. But at the end of the day, Lift is Soul 3, fire. Salute to RBE. Until next time, I'm out.